If you ride and you're looking to protect your eyes against glare, there's only one thing that'll do it, and that's polarized. So we're gonna talk about our top picks. Stick around. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Today, I'm gonna to be going over our top picks of the best polarized motorcycle sunglasses of 2021. In addition to all of these obviously being polarized, all of these also feature a very impact resistant material, both frame and lenses, which is important. They all have a good eight base, at least wrap curvature on the lenses, which is going to give you maximum protection and sun coverage and protection from debris and nature's elements. They all have grip to speak of, whether it be in the nose or in the temples or possibly even both, and I'll call that out. They are also, which is very important to us here at Sporter X, are Xable. They can all be done in prescription. So if you have a prescription and you're looking for the best protector for your eyes, we got you covered here. I will say because of that curvature, the prescription parameters can be a little bit narrower, but don't worry about that because we have opticians who would love to help you with your specific prescription and what will work. One thing I would like to get out of the way in the beginning here is we're talking polarized. Obviously you're here because you're looking for polarized. There is a bit of contention of whether or not you should even wear polarized lenses on the bike. We've actually done a video, I believe, on that. We'll look that up and put a link in the description below if so, but when it comes to polarizing the bike, you just need to be aware of what polarize does. Obviously, it cuts glare bouncing off of other objects, but that also can interfere occasionally with some digital displays. A lot of more modern digital displays aren't having this issue anymore. You might notice it at the gas pump, but not so much on the bike. I think overall it is definitely better protection because it helps to cut glare bouncing off of other vehicles, bouncing off of the asphalt, bouncing off of the water if you ride near the water. So it definitely is helpful in that regard. All of these guys do have polarized options, but some of them are available also in non-polarized. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're getting them in non-prescription, that you're getting the version of it that is in polarized. If you're looking for polarized, which you probably are because you're watching this video. There we go. If at the end of this, you're ready to order, don't forget about Sporter X and definitely don't forget about our CPTR guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You actually have as long as 45 days of them to figure that out. Even if you get them in prescription, we just want you to be happy with what you get. So we will take care of you no matter what that means on our end. All right, let's get into these frames. First off, we have the native Kodiak. Native is a really great brand, and I don't feel like you see their name as often as you should. Really solid style in the Kodiak, pretty straightforward frame design here. Not a huge lens, but definitely enough. You have a lot of hooding around as well that while they don't have any gasket, and really only two on this table have a foam gasket, they do have a little more material that helps to give you a little bit better seal. And on the top here, especially, you have venting built into the frame design, which is really nice. It helps to minimize fogging on the backside of that lens. When it comes to grip, they have the cushion all grip material on the nose pad and on the insides of the temples quite a bit, actually, which is going to help to grip, obviously, for sure, but also give you a little bit additional comfort. When it comes to the frame material, what they call their Rhino Tough Air withstands high velocity collisions and is resistant to extreme temperatures. So a very, very durable frame and actually very lightweight as well. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 133 millimeters, which lands you in a men's medium or a women's large. And next up, we have the Wiley X Gravity, one of my go-to top picks for riding sunglasses. You have a fairly large lens, but not gigantic. It's still uh, more of a kind of everyday pair rather than a really, really large pair. Uh, and this has just about everything you would want in a pair of riding glasses. It has grip on the nose, a bunch of grip on the temple, as well as a straight back temple design. So you don't have to fuss with anything that would otherwise be complicated with helmet compatibility. These are very helmet compatible and a nice flexible temple tip. It isn't adjustable to wrap behind the ear, but you don't need to because it holds on by pressure on the side of the head. And with that flexibility there, it balances really well with creating enough pressure to hold on, but not so much that it gives you a headache. Another cool thing about this is it comes with a T-peg strap 
it being attached in the middle of the temple gives it more contact with your head with that elastic strap. So it gives more of that goggle feel. Really solid design, really for riding it is optimized, especially thanks to this removable foam gasket that also is vented and super comfortable. It's actually a dual layer foam. You have a layer for rigidity and retention. And the outermost layer of that foam is a fleece layer, which is nice, soft, and comfortable and moisture wicking. Another thing that you get with the Gravity is that these are actually safety rated. They are ANSI Z87 approved, so you know these are going to be able to take a beating. In addition to this being RXable, you can actually get it with Wiley X's Captivate lenses, which are amazing. That's their color enhancing lens technology that is beautiful, and all of those Captivate lenses are polarized. This has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which lands you in a men's medium to large fit or a women's large. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about polarized motorcycle sunglasses, or perhaps you have prescription needs, we'll be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly and knowledgeable sporter acceptations because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more motorcycle frame reviews, unboxings, or prescription motorcycle content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. And next up, we have another Wiley X frame. This is called the Peak. A little larger, probably lens, definitely a little more of a squared lens than the Gravity. This does not have a foam gasket, but because of that wrap design, you still are going to get a ton of protection out of this frame. There isn't any grip in the temple tips, but there is grip in the nose and quite a bit of it as well, even where it makes contact with the top of your bridge, which gives you that much more comfort and grip. This has a little more of a slight bend designed in the temple, so still helmet compatible thanks to it being low profile, but just something to be aware of if you are used to that straight back temple design. But that helps to uh, counteract the lack of grip in the temple tips because it gives a little bit of a hook behind the ear. Because of the lens shape, it is also very versatile style-wise, so this is gonna be a little more versatile as a pair that you would be comfortable wearing on and off the bike. This also being Wiley X is available with the Captivate lenses, which again are amazing and all polarized. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 136 millimeters, which lands you in that men's medium to large range or women's large. And next up we have an Oakley. This is the double edge. This is probably, yeah, definitely the largest lens on this table, huge lens. Again, you don't have any foam, but you do have such a large lens and you have this built-in side shield design that you have all of the protection that you would need. This does have a straight back temple design, very low profile temple and it tapers off toward the tip. So that much better helmet compatibility. Uh, and there is no grip on it. Unfortunately, however, you have that unobtainium grip on the nose piece. And if you're not familiar with unobtainium, that's their hydrophilic grip material that helps to grip better even as it gets wet. Very cool. This frame is made out of Oakley's O Matter frame material, which is extremely lightweight and very durable and it maintains its shape very, very well. So something that isn't as adjustable as you might find in some other frames, but really and truly it goes both ways. It's It won't lose adjustment. It'll stay in adjustment, but if it doesn't fit you right off the wall, it probably won't fit you later. So that's why we're gonna talk about fit in just a moment. This is available in prescription, of course, and with Oakley's Prism Polarized. And Prism is Oakley's color enhancing tint technology. A lot of amazing options, but Prism is available in non-polarized and polarized. So if you're looking for polarized, just be sure that you are ordering the right lens. And again, our opticians on a call out are a good resource if you have any questions whatsoever. When it comes to sizing, there's that important part. This has an SFW also of 136 millimeters, which is a really good medium to large fit for men or a large fit for women. I think kind of a, it's a, it's a good one size fits most for sure. And last but certainly not least, we have the pan head from 7i, another long time go-to for the best options for motorcycle riding. This one was designed with motorcycle riding in mind, uh, just like with the gravity. And you can tell by the gasket. This again has another foam gasket. This has what we a little different design. This has what we call a closed cell foam gasket, which is different from the open cell foam gasket in the gravity. What you get with that is it, it'll last a little longer effectively. But what I find personally is that when you're wearing it, it tends to be a little hotter 
because of that closed cell design, it isn't that microfiber moisture wicking design. It's more of a, I don't know, it's just a closed cell foam. And so it tends to heat up a little bit and maybe feel sweatier, but it works really, really well. There is venting all over this gasket. So definitely it's gonna help with keeping your face cool as well as keeping it fog free. Also, this is removable and replaceable, of course. There is grip on the inside of the temple here, as well as on the nose piece, and it is an embedded nose piece, so lots of grip there. You have some adjustability in the temple. You actually could wrap it uh, behind the ear, as well as bring it in and out pretty easily, uh, and tons of grip on that temple there. Really solid style. This is one that is available in non-polarized as well, so be aware of that if you're ordering it in non-prescription. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 137 millimeters, which lands you in a men's large fit or a women's large to extra large. That wraps it up for our top picks in polarized motorcycle sunglasses for 2021. I hope you now have a new front contender for the next best pair of motorcycle glasses for yourself. If you have any questions you feel like I didn't answer, leave them in the comment section below because we'd love to hear from you. Or like I mentioned a hundred times, we have opticians who'd love to hear from you. If you are ready to order any of these great styles, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And again, if you're ready to order, don't forget about our Sea Better Guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And for that peak peace of mind, did I mention we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time? It's like the whole reason we're here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop any of these great styles, you can click this button right here. If you're looking for more content and consume as we all are these days, you should check us out on our social media outlets, because I think you'll like it. That's why I recommend it.